guys, we do start with a Fox News alert. Breaking this afternoon, Ebola kills inside the United States. The first person ever diagnosed with the virus in this country has died. Hi, everyone. I'm Gretchen Carlson, and this is The Real Story for Ebola. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Pets in an area where there's a lot of Ebola can... Okay, back to Spain with the Spanish nurse who now has Ebola. Breaking news just a couple of hours ago that she had followed protocol. However, she remembers maybe touching her face with her glove after she touched the Ebola-infected patient. Is that enough for her to get Ebola? Well... Dr. Mark Siegel, thank you so much. Good to see you. The president taking part in a conference, John Kirby. Yeah, and I admire John Kirby. He's a really great guy. I think he's doing this, let them fight it out. Number two, put in big troops on the ground. We've been asked before to help capture America's most wanted criminals, right? But now, now the FBI looking for your help to match a name with the voice of terror. So please come and that he's not a citizen. He would still have a right to sue. But when, no, that's strange because there are tort reform laws. Actually, today I'm going to say no. In the future, we might find that so. Think so. Do we change the rules because it's Ebola and not regular? We'll have to see. But today, not. Jessica, let me start with you. You've never been on the panel before. This is a really sensitive topic. Do you agree with Brittany's choice to end her own life? This isn't just about the person who's making the decision themselves, it's about those they leave behind immensely. That people who have this kind of a tumor, it will not be pretty at all. And it will be so much suffering that she's making that choice to not put her family through that. Can you see it that way? 